Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Now I know it's been a, quite a minute since I uploaded one of these videos. Um, I started a few months ago with a spiritual series and I have not uploaded one since. I started off with spiritual series one. If you've seen that video then you know what I'm talking about. If not I will link it in the description box below. So basically what I was going to be doing is doing weekly uploads about spiritual uh, my spiritual series, my spiritual journey, my walk, and just encouraging and praying for you all and also myself and, you know, just other things. Um, and if you have a prayer request, you can always leave it in the description box or excuse me, in the comment section of this video. And I will make sure that I pray for you. Um, why hasn't it taken why has it taken me so long to upload a, another video? Honestly, I have no excuse whatsoever and no valid reason. Um honestly, it's just lack of um doing it, planning it out, just sitting down um and doing this. Like I really want to like just try to explain, but really I can't explain. It honestly has just been let's say it the spirit of laziness. I don't know. I, I just, I've been off track. Honestly, I've been off track. I've been, I haven't been focused lately. I haven't been focused at work. I haven't been focused on my YouTube channel. I just have not been focused right now. And I know what it is. And it's the spirit of, you know, it's a distraction. And honestly, I just, I got to fight it off because that's what the enemy wants us to be distracted from our purpose and from you know God so um, I I just was like you know what let me just sit down and talk with you guys and you know just get this get this done this is I've been told so many times this is what I'm supposed to be doing so I'm gonna do it and I told God that whatever platform he has given me whether it's a high following or a low following I'm going to use it to his glory because I'm only here because of him so with that being said I wanted to um talk about I have these little I'm going to show you guys I have these little booklets called our daily bread and so basically what it is is it's a daily like like a daily read of it's like a page long but the booklet's really small see this is the size of my hand and this is a booklet so it's really small but I think they have big print and they have small print because I believe my grandmother has the big print. But it's like, I think it's every three months. Yeah, every three months inside of one book. And then um, and then they'll send you another little book. And it's absolutely free. You can sign up online. Also, if you don't want the booklet, they do have an app. I will try to link the app in the description box below, but I have the app and the booklet. So like if I'm out and about, like at work or something, I will tend to look at my app. Um, but I also take my book with me out and about. So like at work, if I'm on my break and things like that, I can study. And because sometimes I, I just like things to feel. Like some people are into reading their Bible on their phone. I use both. I literally use NIV on my phone, the NIV version, and I use KJV hard copy Bible because I just, I'm, I love to touch it, feel it, take notes, highlight, that whole shebang. I'm, you know, technology is not going to always be there and Lord knows that one day they're going to try to take our Bibles away from us too. So anyways, um, today is March the 20th. And I'll also tell you what March 21st is going to be like because I'm going to try to get this up by March 21st. That way you can kind of study that one too. So I like the title of this one. And I haven't read this yet. The um, title for March 20th um, is A Good Season. And the reading is going to be in Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3 verses 1 through 11. One of the um, focus verses is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 and it says there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens and that's so 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 true. Now I'm not going to go ahead and read this whole thing to you guys but I just kind of want to reflect on um, some things and then I'll go into prayer. The next video will probably be 
more expanded it'll probably be a little bit longer because I'll have everything planned I'll read a couple of verses kind of like the first video um, but right now I just had to sit down and talk I had a little bit of time I had some energy and I was just like you know what Brittany sit down throw your camera up and let's just you know let's just talk this out <laughs> because I have been going through a lot I have not been to church in four weeks which is extremely long and uncomfortable for me and it's been nothing but the enemy keeping me from church spirit of laziness spirit of being tired uh, I have no excuse and 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 this ends today I'm taking back my life my strength and I've got to move forward and I'm trying to be an encourager is also an example and a leader so I have to do my part um, I'm not perfect whatsoever and I don't want anyone to ever think that I am perfect but our goal here and our our reason for being here is to try to be like Christ and Christ was perfect and so that's what you can try to be but I feel like we will always fall short which is why we have a forgiving God because he forgives us for everything that we do wrong. So just always remember that that if you don't get something right and it's wrong maybe the first, the second, or even the third time, God is going to forgive you and you move forward. You ask for forgiveness. You confess the things that you've done wrong and you move forward. Don't sit there and dwell in it in self-pity. Get up and move forward. And that's what I'm doing with myself is moving forward what I think about the verse where it says there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens I feel like there are so many things everyone tries to do so many things at one time and some are successful with doing that and some aren't a lot of people aren't um, whether it's you know, doing things in the church, you just want to get your hands wet, your feet wet and everything. Uh, whether it's, you know, the choir and the, and the youth and the, and the, the kitchen ministry and you know, all those things. You want to just get your feet wet and everything. And, or if it's your job, for example, I'll choose myself. Like if, um, and this doesn't always pertain to me, but I'm just using me as an example. For example, if someone has a full-time job, and they have children and they're a wife and they also are trying to do the YouTube or a second job and they want to also achieve their hobby on the side which is a fashion designer and they're trying to do that and then they've got this going on with their family and then they've got this going on with their job and then they're also in school and they're falling behind on their grades that is a lot of things to try to achieve at one time is it possible Yes, y'all know my motto. With God, all things are possible. The Bible says that. I believe that. But there also are things that you have to prioritize. One God is always first, hands down, no if, ands, buts, or maybes. And then you have to prioritize your other things that come after that. Um, which I feel like falls in, falls in with, you know, um, falls in with, you know, the seasons. It may not be your season to do this, but it's your season to do this. So it may be your season to do X, but not to do Y or Z. You know what I mean? A, lo a lot of the things when I become uncertain, because I've been uncertain about a lot of things. I've been uncertain about the career that I've been in. I've been uncertain about the way that I, what I'm doing in the house of God. All those things. Your best bet to get your answer and your clarity is to drop down on your knees and pray. If you're not in the position or the environment where you can do that, silent prayer is okay too. I had to learn that myself. I always felt that I had to cry out to God and scream and, you know, cry and just yell and talk to God all the time, just like out loud like I am right now. But God also accepts silent prayer. And so you you just pray in silent. Talk to God and communicate with him. And, you know, get an answer from him. Because he will. But you have to seek him first in all things. Because some things just, you know, they just, they're not going to work. Um, and they're not for you. 
and you may feel like it because it feels good and it's nice and you like it and you may even feel like you love it, but it's not for you. I'm talking to somebody right now that it is not for you. No, anyways, you guys, I just wanted to leave that with you guys that your season is coming. If it is not here, it is coming. And when your season gets here, remember, it's not going to be just flowers and dandelions and roses and sunflowers. It's not going to be that. You are going to go through trial, tribulation, hurdles, hoops, bumps. You're going to go through all of those things, but you will get through it because God will not leave us nor forsake us. We will get through it. We have to fight on our knees and in prayer, especially in the days that we are in now. Prayer fast worship and being in the house of God is our only way that we're going to make it through these times, these troubling, troubling times. And it will come to pass, but then something else will happen. But you have to be tough. And you just remember that when you're in it, keep going through it. There's a story about um and I think one of our pastors or elders has told us the story um or maybe I read it somewhere I'm sorry I'm just I can't remember but it was about the um it was like a hurricane or it was rainy and windy and it was just a lot going on it was like thundering and just raining everywhere and there was a bunch of cars who were going through the rain and they couldn't see anything they couldn't see where they were going and they decided to pull over to the side of the road and wait for it to stop and they were just gonna wait on the side of the road for it to stop for the the storm to stop and this one car decided no I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing. And I'm just going to keep going until I get past it. And they ended up getting through the storm. And it got through the other side of the clouds. Because as you guys know, you know, clouds can set in one area. And they just stay there. And on the other side, it's completely daylight. Um, if you live in Florida, you know what I'm talking about. It can rain in your front yard and not be raining in your backyard. <laughs> but um, they kept going. And then when they looked back, they looked at all those cars that were sitting on the side of the road, still in the storm. But because they kept going, they got out. That is the same thing that applies to your life. You remember that. You just keep going and going and going. Even if you can't see the way. You can't see the light in the end of the tunnel. We're not going to see things all the time and how they end. But they are going to end. You're going to get through. You just have to believe and keep pressing forward. This applies to myself. I'm speaking to myself as I am speaking to you guys too. Because there's been times where I've given up. I've gotten sad. I've gotten depressed. I've became unsociable. I became angry. I've been... I became... And, and just be sitting here in self-pity and instead of getting up and saying, I'm not going to let this defeat me. The devil is a lie. And keep pushing. See, I've done both. But you can't be hot and cold with God. You either going to be in it or you're going to be out. So he's not going to accept in the middle when it comes to when it, when it's your time to go. He's not going to accept in the middle. Well, God, I served you sometimes, but sometimes I went to the club and I was shaking it all over the, the DJ guy. Like, no, he's not going to do that. <laughs> he's not going to accept that. You either in it or you out. I'm in it. I'm 100% in it. And I'm not going to let the enemy distract me, put me down, tear me down, steal anything from me, and don't let him take any thing from you so we're gonna close this out you guys and a word of prayer but first the next uh for wednesday march 21st the um topic is called walking on water and um one of my favorite uh books in the bible uh the reading is going to be matthews 
chapter 14, verses 25 through 33. Matthews is a good, good, good book. Uh, so it's, it's some people, when I first started reading Matthews, it was a little scary to me. Uh, because I was, I was new in the game a little bit. But I wanted to read and I wanted to just explore the Bible and things like that. And I started reading Matthews and sometimes it can, it, it, it gets you right there. But it's the truth. And that's why you feel that way because you know. Anyways. We're going to go ahead and close out in a word of prayer. Hold hands with me. Okay. So, Father God, we come before you. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for giving us the activities of our limbs. Father God, we just come before you and just want to say thank you for all the things that you provided, the things that you've given, the things that you've taken away, the things that you have placed in our lives. Lord, the people you've placed in our lives and ones you have removed for our lives. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for our friends, our family. Lord, I even thank you for my enemies, O oh God. Lord, I ask that you forgive us. Forgive me. Forgive me for anything that I've done, said, or even thought of, O oh God. Forgive us for our sins and transgressions and our iniquities, O oh God. Lord, I ask that you help us to do right and to do better, O oh God. Touch the ones in their bodies that are sick and afflicted, O oh God. Touch the the ones in their hearts that are hurting right now. Lord, heal the ones, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch the ones that are grieving, oh God, that has lost someone, oh God. Touch the hearts of them, oh God. Lord, touch the ones that are just going through things, whether it's life, oh God. Just, Lord, help them, oh God. Give them strength, oh God. Give me strength, oh God. Continue my walk with you, oh God. Help me to be on the right and narrow path with you, oh God. Lord, touch the ones out there that want to get to know you. Give their hearts the desire to want to know you, oh God, and give them understanding and knowledge. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for all that you do, all that you're doing. We ask that you watch over us, keep us safe, and protect us, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, I feel a little bit refreshed. Now, I have to get in my Bible and my scriptures, and I need to start reading because that's one of the things that I fell off on. Um, we don't have that much time left, you guys, when God is coming soon. And every day that he wakes you up is a chance to get it right with him. There's no reason why you wouldn't want to do that. I want to live with him forever. And I want to meet my maker and tell him thank you for everything that he's done for me. And all the things that he's going to do. I hope this touched someone today. You guys all have a blessed day. Bye.